Hello, hello, it is Ryder, and today I am here to share another prophetic word with you. Um, and I feel like normally at the beginning of these videos I say, you know, like, ask the Lord if this message is for you because it's meant for, like, specific people at specific times in their life, but I believe that this message applies to everyone, so I don't think that that's as big of a deal, but it's always good to use discernment when you're watching any of these types of videos that you see online. Um, and the title of this message is Stay on Guard. Stay on Guard. So this is concerning a vision that I saw basically in the middle of the night of, you know, what is it, November 11th of 2023, and I'm recording this later in the day on November 5th of 2023 because I saw this vision. It was either, like, late at night the following night or, like, early in the morning this morning. And this is what God showed me. Um, here's what I wrote. I saw a spaceship come and beam me up in a ray of white light. Then the spaceship flew into the light, representative of heaven. I wasn't the only one taken into the light. Other people were with me. And God told me later on that this is talking about the rapture. Then I saw the earth that we left behind, and it was cracked open like an egg, like the earth was here, then it's like... <sighs> and all this light, like the spirits of the followers of Jesus, like rose up into the light, into heaven, and everyone and everything else was left behind. And then the vision ended. So that's great, but what does this mean? Because if we don't have the interpretation, then none of this means anything. So the Lord told me, and this is what the Lord says. He just told me to write this down. The Lord says, The vision that I have just shown you concerns the rapture, which will take place before the great tribulation. You and others like you were brought up into a spaceship to symbolize how you are not of this world. You have been taken out of the world before the tribulation because you are my chosen people, a people holy to me, declares the Lord. The Lord says, the earth will open up and the dead in Christ will rise. Listen to me, my child. Remain obedient to me. Seek first my kingdom and my righteousness, and I will supply not only your daily needs, but bring you into the place I have prepared for you. I will do this for I am the Lord. Everything and everyone else will be left behind. They will not last. So instead, focus on me. Focus on what will last. For two women will be grinding at the mill, one taken and one left. Two will be sleeping in one bed. One will be taken, the other left. Those left behind will suffer here on earth and not last very long. Stay on guard and remain obedient to me, for you do not know the day nor the hour that I will do this, declares the Lord. The Lord says, you must share this with the people as a warning to them so that no one can say we never knew any better when they face judgment. For this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So what the Lord is talking about is the rapture. We do not know the day, we do not know the hour, but God is having me tell this to you today as a warning to be on guard. We don't know the day, we don't know the hour, but the most important thing is that we repent of our sins, we accept Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, believe that he died on the cross to pay the price for our sins, and that, you know, then we're saved, you know, we get to be with the Father in heaven for all of eternity, and outside of that, you know, then we don't got to worry about the rapture, we don't got to worry about the great tribulation, because when Jesus returns, we'll be taken up into the clouds, you know, we'll be in heaven, we won't have to suffer any of that. So, what God is asking, if you've been saved, is to remain obedient to him, stay in the word of God, keep going to church, keep reading your Bible, keep sharing the gospel with people, and if you have not been saved, repent of your sins and accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior because we do not know how much time we have left here on this earth. We need to focus on what will last forever, not what's temporary. Our bodies, the buildings that we live in, the food that we eat, all of that is temporary. The only thing that we have in this life that is permanent is our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. So don't focus on what we're going to eat, what we're going to drink, where we're going to live, what we're going to wear. Focus on the Lord. That is the most important thing. 
and God is having me say this to you today so that no one can say if they're facing final judgment, oh, we didn't know any better. You have the Bible. You have people that are talking about this to you, like out on the street, sharing the word of God with you. You knew. You had a chance. You have a chance. So take advantage of the chance that you do have. You know, turn to Jesus and be saved and be healed. In the scripture reading that I have, um, it is from Matthew chapter 24, verses 36 through 51. And this is Jesus talking to his disciples about, you know, his return. And the title, like the header in my Bible says, the day and the hour unknown. I realize this is recording reverse, so it doesn't make any sense. But Matthew chapter 24, verses 36 through 51, and this is Jesus speaking. But about that day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father, as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day Noah entered the ark, and they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. This is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be in the field, one will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding with a handmill, one will be taken and the other left. Therefore keep watch, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known at what time of night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be broken into. So you also must be ready, because the Son of Man will come in an hour when you do not expect him. Who then is the faithful and wise servant, whom the Master has put in charge of the servants in his household, to give him their food at the proper time? It will be good for that servant whose master finds him doing so when he returns. Truly, I tell you, he will put him in charge of all his possessions. But suppose that servant is wicked and says to himself, My master is staying away a long time. And he then begins to beat his fellow servants and to eat and drink with drunkards. The master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him, and in an hour he is not aware of. He will cut him to pieces and assign him a place with the hypocrites, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What God is telling me now is to wrap up this message. There isn't much more to say, but what I'm going to end it with is just be on guard because we do not know the day, we do not know the hour, and even outside of, you know, just like the rapture, the tribulation, the end times, like... We shouldn't even be worrying about that. If you haven't been saved, you should be worrying about your own salvation. You should take the time to repent of your sins, turn away from your sins, accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, you know, so that, you know, you'll be saved. You have a place with the Father in heaven for all of eternity. And if you've already been saved, then the most important thing is just stay on guard and be obedient to the Lord. Stay out of trouble. Stay away from backsliding. Keep moving forward on your journey with the Lord. Because on a Christian journey, if we're not moving forward, we're moving backward. If you think that you're stagnating, you're moving backward. The only way that you're not moving backward is if you're moving forward with the Lord. So stay on guard, stay obedient, stay hungry, stay humble. With all that being said, I hope that this message was helpful. Take care, stay safe, and have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you. Bye-bye.